Fury is a crazy good boss gauntlet with an amazing soundtrack to back it up and a price tag that's a tad north of the current average. Like most boss rush games, each fight consists of several phases broken down into mini encounters where you'll find yourself going from a bloomtastic bullet hell to twin stick shooter to straight melee action combat, all within minutes of each other. I should also note that Fury doesn't dick around with his difficulty curve. The first boss will gladly show you the ropes of basic combat, and then the second encounter will immediately step it up and it just assumes that you've already got your core abilities mastered. It's a game of trial and error, and in some cases you'll quickly figure out one part of one phase, and then phase two will jump in and knock you on your ass and invite you to start the entire encounter over by taking a huge dump square in the center of your chest. Or in this case, the small of your back. All right, so this is the third boss. You've already seen glimpses of the first two. Uh, the first one being basically a tutorial boss. So I'm not necessarily terribly far, but I'm far enough where I get the gist that the game is definitely a challenging, challenging you game here. Let's go and actually keep pumping on that one there. It is written. Let's go ahead and keep this. I, I I've done it so many times this particular fight and I've not completed it yet because I was I was I was drunk the last couple times I tried right. Uh, it has definitely become almost second nature to be able to run around here and not get hit by anything. Almost, almost, almost. I've definitely still suffered a few blows here, but the proper way to do it is actually not doing it the way I'm doing it here. Uh, is to basically beat up a nice large chunk of the uh, the containment cell there. And you could take you could take a couple hits if you want because once you actually hit him once, then you'll just basically uh, whoa shit! I should have actually dodged. I zigged and I should have zagged. Here we go. Now let's make a mess. Now we're gonna make a mess. A big huge mess, which is fine. We just gotta keep. Whoop! Just keep uh, keep our dodging up. Punch a few holes. Make a big ass mess. But yeah, once we hit him one time. Then we've pretty much, uh, oh, there's health right there. Then we've, uh, oh damn, they're all gonna, mm-hmm, yep. Uh, then we get our health back. That's a really tough sentence to get out, especially when you're trying to dodge a bunch of stuff. <laughs> the game is definitely not, uh, live commentary friendly, that's for sure. There we go. Now over time you notice that the, uh, the orbs will go away. You live under the illusion. Here we go. Then we're gonna make our way to the red zone, the much brighter, stronger orbs that get shot out when you're hitting the inner circle. Oh, damn. Let's go ahead and actually clear out some of these. That one's got health, we'll grab that one. Now, I had a couple complaints when I was first playing it, and I'll get those out of the way now, but orb placement is definitely feels a bit funky. Um, uh, like your orb, the depth, basically. So my perspective feels a bit skewed sometimes. You have to get used to it. Uh, whereas I'll feel like, well, wait a minute, I wasn't necessarily standing right there. Should that should have gone past me. In reality, you 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 didn't. You got hit because perspective is fucked up. Um, and it's not. It's just it's just a feeling thing, really. And with games like this, especially when you get into a game that's essentially a bullet hell, like feeling is the most. You have to nail that. You absolutely have to nail that. Uh, there you go. So that's that's basically the end of the the first phase. If you don't nail that, that getting the feeling just right, then it kind of makes it a little difficult. You have to basically overcompensate, or compensate as a player. There we go. First phase is pretty easy. Second phase, he goes into this mess here. He's going to shoot out beams at me every once in a while, these balls. And then what I do is I basically jump in, give him a couple shots, jump out, shoot those things. And I can reflect those back if I want to. This, that's the part that's ooh scary sometimes is that you have to time that just right. Right there, you notice I did not time that right. It was like a split second that I screwed up, uh, and I ended up getting hit. It's not looking good. I could. Now I'm gonna make that. Damn it! I try to double dip on some of the health there. Every two, you get health. Like this one right here will be health. Oops! No, no, sorry. Next one, I think. Damn! I'm just, I'm just being a jerk right now. Here we go. And then we could. Uh, power jump over there, get that one. Yes. Once you get the dodging and everything down though, and if you and if you could, you know, adapt to the to the perspective, 
that's constantly changing because the camera's constantly moving in and out all over the place. Uh, you'll have no problem actually executing some of these bosses. I have no doubt. I mean, it's purely just like trying to get used to it. Treating it like treat it like a bullet hell. Treat it like an action art. Oops, an action uh, game. The, look, notice how the balls actually get uh, thrown off course, which is really weird. It's strange. Damn, disappeared. What? Watch the balls when they go to the center. Well, now now they're resetting, but. Even they were getting all off. It's so weird. It's so bizarre. It's hard to explain. Okay, I need to wait. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and uh, give him another tap. Oh, that was it. That was the last one. Okay, so this is going to be rough. This is going to be super rough. He's going to come out of nowhere and nail me a couple times. I block it. Now we're going for the melee. Ah, damn it. There we go. I'm gonna grab this real quick. Let him come to me. And then big wave, dodge through that. We're good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dunk him down. Now we're in in the base the fight phase. The we're now we're sitting on top of him. Gotta time those blocks just right, man. It's rough. Wait for the white light and then, then hit him. Oh shit! Oh. There we go. A successful block, a well-timed block, will actually get you a uh, little bit of health. Like a perfectly timed block, like that. I believe it gets you a little health. You get a little bit of green. There we go. All right. So next phase. One more. Oh, damn, too late. It's all right. It's okay, I can take it. This phase is fun. <laughs> same same concept before, except for this time, I have the orbs and the waves. Full waves here. It's got to kind of just right. Ah, oh, damn. Now, some of those orbs are actually health. Uh, if I were to block them, I'd actually get a health bonus from them. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Damn. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to just get this thing out. There we go. Woo! That little pocket of health was, like, super important. Now, clear out some room over here. We have some greens. Greens are very hard to see because bloom is ridiculous. Okay. There we go. Oh, he's gonna do his thing. Oh, you can't shoot in here. Notice how time is frozen. Now I have, if I shoot a laser beam or whatever, damn it, bad habit. There we go. Oh, oh! Yeah, can't shoot, can't shoot my lasers or whatever. I have to basically, that was a bad block, terrible block. Come on, come on, come on. I basically have to rely on dodging. Okay, come on, come on, come on. If he doesn't come to me, oh my god. Did he get me? Yeah, he did. I had a good block and then, yeah. So now we go back to the beginning. This is the frustrating part, right? Until, no, oh, damn, bad, bad jump. Until we actually get to the uh, notice upper left corner, I have, I have these squares. Those are basically my lives. If I beat him, I get a life back. If he beats me, I lose one. Obviously, there's only so many times you can do that because every time you beat him, you move on to the next phase. I don't even know what some of the later phases are. Man, I'm playing so much better than when I was drunk. What a difference. What a difference. Who'd have, who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? I should be able to get it right here. Oh, damn. Let's go try to block. Yeah. All right. Jesus. Okay, we'll wait till he shows up. Yes, he will. Ooh. 
There's double right here. Damn it. Oh, man. Yeah, there's no way. There's no point. Just gotta wait for him to basically appear and then just try to slash at him. There we go. Ah, shit. Gotta wait for the white and then strike. He's invincible when he's orange, so I don't know why I ran over there. Okay, grab his health. Damn. A little bit of panic there. There we go. Good, 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 good! Nice. I mean, I'm blocking some, but man. I'm not getting that. There we go. Nice, next phase. I have no idea what to expect here, so first time. This should be fun. Wait for him, he's invincible right now, no point in doing any kind of attacks or anything. This is just a really funky bull of hell here. They're just appearing and just hitting you at random. And then we have the, the pulse here. Nice. I mean, crap, but you know. Let's try to block some of these things, that might be it. Notice I got a life back. Oh no, now we're going to another phase. Let's just try to just milk one real quick. Oh man, they're so random. They're so random. I mean, we're adding to the to the fray here by killing those things, but uh, destroying those pillars. But we gotta do what we gotta do. They'll disappear eventually. Now, when you block things, a lot of times you could send it right back at the enemy there. But he's orange, so it's not gonna really do much, unfortunately. I wonder if blocking him at the nah it doesn't go back to the tower, unfortunately. Now, I haven't commented about the music yet, uh, because just, the action is so freaking fast-paced, it's hard to really... <laughs> Let's just talk a little bit about everything in the game. Uh, but the act, the, the music is just superb. Uh, Carpenter Brutes, uh, basically all the future wave and everything you could, you could possibly hope for. If you liked uh, Blood Dragon music, uh, Kung Fury music, if you want to put it like that, right? Basically 80s new wave, future style. Uh, this is totally it. Like, it's so good. And I've already, I've already talked about Carpenter Brute so many times. Sounder, his damn album is so good. Oh god, I'm like really, I'm kind of creating a mess here for myself. I have to be careful. Okay, let's wait for some of these things to go away. They will go away, right? <laughs> oh man. Oh no, I have a feeling they won't. Let's just go ahead and see if we can just finish this off from here. Okay, took the last ones. From way off in the distance. There you go, last pillar down. Now I should clear out, right? Yes. Oh god, he's gonna wanna fight me. He's gonna 1v1 one one me now, right? Oh god! <sighs> now we do it again. And I should also note, this is actually uh, normal mode. <laughs> Okay, now the pillars are gonna come up. Oh no, that's right. We got this phase first. Oh damn it! I don't know why I blocked. I zigged my shit as egg. Damn it! Damn it! Oh man, I am just doing absolutely terrible right now. Oh man, and there was like no health in those other in those other uh, moments there. So Let's see if we just keep this firing and just see if I could just make this happen here. Probably shoot a bunch of these things. Just basically shoot across and get rid of a bunch. But you know he's he's still pumping them out, so I guess shooting them is not necessarily gonna help in the long run. I think finding a safe spot and just basically sniping them is probably gonna be our best bet. You, you end up killing a bunch of these orbs and destroying a bunch of these orbs in the process, so I think that's probably the best thing to do there. Find a safe spot. Stay back. Nice and open. 
Then out towards the middle where all the mayhem is. Do a little bit of bullet hell. That's easy. It's like a soul android cactus on fucking crack, man. There we go. Good. Oops. Damn. And then he's gonna come fight me here in just a minute. I can do my lasers. Oh, that guy got tackled by a bunch of orbs. And that's it. All right. Deal with these for a moment. He's gonna come out of the woodwork. This. Yes. Yes. Good. Now if I get him in this pocket, we should be good, right? Is that it? Oh, man! What's up? What is up? <laughs> I couldn't do this on the stream. I was drunk, but I couldn't do it on the stream uh, for some reason, but now here we are. Look at that. Now imagine going back ahead and to do this thing on hard. Oh my god. Ridiculous. The master of time. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're done. Yes. Look to the sky, stranger. Therein lies your answer. I like he's wearing beats. Oh. Ah, yes. No fate. This guy. We build our own destiny. So you can. <laughs> this is kind of the awkward part. The rocks. He knew a lot. Hold on. He even figured out why you were sent to us. I gotta make some comments about this. Look at the sky, he kept saying. The dot on the sun. But no one listened. He's gonna keep talking. So, there's a certain level of pretentiousness in the game that I think is kind of hilarious. Uh, and it starts off with these crazy long walks between uh, between battles. It's just a boss battle game, right? That's it, just boss battles. Uh, and you go on these long walks, and like the camera keeps like shifting crazy. Like it, you'll see, the camera's gonna. I swear, between here and the next boss. And remember, I've not done this before. There will probably be like a borderline, completely upside down camera shot, for no reason, just because as he's walking. Now I can choose to walk by myself, or I can hit A, uh, or I think like uh, right trigger or something, a left trigger. There you go. He'll auto walk for me, which is great because the perspective of the player uh, of the controls. Cha doesn't change whenever the camera changes, and it just makes things very awkward. So just hit A and let it just let him basically walk himself, and he'll go. This guy is gonna continue telling stories and whatnot. <laughs> While the Tron music plays, so now we go to the next area, and if it's anything like the past two uh, intermediate zones where you're basically walking forever with music and. Uh, like a billion different camera angles. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Watch it. This will be the one we walk right into the damn arena. And the fight just starts. Come on. Take a good look, my friend. Years of evolution. Culture, civilization, great intellect, wonders of nature. Bam! Wiped out. Oh, that's close. One Almost an upside down effect. shot. One. This guy has been your guide since the beginning, by the way. He's probably the last boss. I don't even know, but I'm guessing. He's the jailer. I searched and searched. A solution, an answer, anything. Just some hope, you know, that I could fix this, fix him, so my plan would be flawless. <laughs> but I never found a thing. Long pauses between dialogue. Beautiful landscapes sure, and great music, though. Stopped, rolled up in a ball and cried for the rest of my days. And left you frying on your rock. But I didn't. God, 
Come on, where's my upside down shot? You. I've heard some bad stuff. And what I've seen, well. But we have one thing in common, you and I. We have nothing to lose. For every day we are locked away up here, we have nothing. We've lost. <laughs> one thing about fish face up there you know he got um contaminated i'm not sure he's got much to say he probably can't even speak at all anymore but if he does just ignore the crazy babble follow the white rabbit and this is probably the arena here Man, no upside down shot. We got close. We got really close. Oh, 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 that was that it. I think that was it. <laughs> For a brief moment. Alright. Here, here comes the next boss. P.S. The bosses, like a like just design and aesthetics are fucking great. Oh. Hmm. Don't look so horrified. You're staring at yourself. You, right. you, you did this to me. Finally. <laughs> Revenge. Hmm. Oh, nice. Already. He's trying, yeah, he's trying to get close. Keep him at a distance. Probably reflect one of those, actually. Let's try that. Let's try to reflect. That's too far away. Oh, okay. Yes, we got another one going in. There we go. In some cases, reflecting the shots is actually the only way to do uh, damage. It feels like, or any significant damage, rather. Damn it. There we go. First phase. You have to remember when blocking, don't push anything else after blocking until it's finished because you will cancel it. You can cancel a block, which really sucks. So even if you look... I feel like it cancels sometimes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Okay. Everything's getting, everything's getting hazy. There we go. We can attack him while he's recovering from that. Wow. Oh, man. I should have, I should have had him. It's okay. I still have a couple more lives here. <laughs> There you go, stand still, do your thing. Milk this down pretty quickly, it looks like. Nice, first phase is gonna be super fast. Once you learn the attacks, you typically get moving pretty quickly. Oh, come on. There, there we go. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a good block. That's a good block. Trashed. Oh, oh, now he's orange. Yep. And that should be it. Good. Next phase. Oh, waves. Gotta dodge those. Whoa. Oh, oh shit. Try to get in his face, actually. We could probably cancel most of his attacks. Let's do a strong. Oops. Nope. Let's get away from this. Whoa! 
Oh man, oh, man, I sneak up on you. Oh man, oh, I ate that. Oh. Okay, so we'll try it again. Thankfully, we don't have to go back and start all over. But just pro tip, if you die in the first phase, just restart the whole thing. It's not, there's no point whatsoever in trying to, in not, it, it, there's no point in continuing if you, if you fail in the first phase, damn. Block game is weak right now. Like two easy blocks I could have had. Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> God, the screen getting all crazy. There you go. And we go in for the attack before it gets there. Nice. Good block, good block. Oh, ouch! Charge up an attack, nope. Oh. Damn! I kept dodging into him, it's not helping me at all. There! We still got it. We still got it. We still have lots of phases to go through as well. I mean, it's a boss fight game with only like seven bosses or something. It'd be kind of silly if uh, if the, the phases weren't completely over the top. Okay, let me get close. Oh, he moved. Damn, I thought I had him pinned. Oh shit! There we go, just like that. Uh, uh, uh! Whoa! What the fuck? Come on, come on. Oh shit! Oh man, underwater phase, what? Choking me out! So wait, so what are we walking? Am I walking on water? What's up? Oh, too late. Let's see, that was... That was a good block, the other one was not, and they're so close. You have to just nail the blocks, otherwise... Oh, oh. Damn. Fuck. Oh, Jesus, no! I got him. Nope. Come on, come on. I still have lives, but oh shit. That was too, too late of a, too early of a block. Your block lasts like 0.25 seconds. You have to time it perfect, otherwise just forget it. Oh shit. Or just not block at all, you know, like that. Or that one too early. Damn it. Oh shit! Oh, oh, god damn! No, don't go anywhere. Damn. I need, I need some of those. I need some of those health blocks or whatever. Oh Jesus! There we go, like that. I need like ten more of those. Oh, man. Oh, just terrible. Terrible. Did he help me up? What's he doing? There you go. All right. All right. It's my last go here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, still too early. You have to, like, you have to wait. It's like, basically, he does his move. It turns white. 
and then you have a brief second. Shit. Or a brief like quarter second. Try to get over there real quick, get a couple attacks. Nope. Just laser beam his ass. There you go, like that. Wake his ass up. Oh shit. Okay, mandatory, we'll break free, then he's gonna jump up and we're gonna... Yeah, buddy! Uh! What you got, what you got? Oh shit! <laughs> he's got a huge blast wave! Yeah, I got, if, I get, if I get him in the ring, then we're good. Like this, like this, yes. Jeez. And oh, bad, bad, bad jump. It's all right. Yes. Oh man, we are nailing these things today. Okay, now, now we're in the ring. Jesus. Don't want to be cornered. Oh! Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Free! Back up top. And now... Do I get first dip? Nope! But I get a good block though! Hey! Look at that! Perfect parrier! What's up? Can't complain about my blocks. Whoa, whoa. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the- what? This hell Damn! Place can't be the end of the <laughs> I was supposed to and dodge that? It was a wave! Oh, man. But that's how you learn. That's- that's basically- that, that's the whole game, right there. Uh, you have a number of different bosses. Uh, you have, uh, a couple- a couple- few different, uh, levels. Or, or I'm sorry, uh, difficulty levels that you can choose from. Uh, Promenade, Fury, and Furier. Uh, and it is, uh, it is a challenging game. Absolutely challenging game. Uh, this is one of those games that it's priced in such a way that uh, it seems a little pricey from the get-go. It does because it's a boss game, right? So it's just like you go in, you fight seven bosses, you leave. Uh, I can tell you, the soundtrack is, is amazing and a must-buy for sure. The um, uh, Aesthetically, the game looks great. It's like, it, it, it feels to me like that uh, that cell shaded flashback look, but updated. Uh, and also the uh, the combat feels good. There's a couple of little quirks here and there, like with uh, with just like character placement. But it just has to do with just getting used to where the camera's moving and whatnot, uh, and of course how big your character is. Uh, if you play Bullet Hells, you know that you're the primary thing you're always uh, keeping an eye on is that tiny little dot in the center of your ship, and that's the only thing that can really get hit. In this case, I feel like that's kind of still that's actually still happening here, uh, where you have the uh the one dot that you have to basically protect and you use that also to block so it makes things a little bit wonky here and there but once you get used to it i think it's probably fine uh, i know a number of people that have already actually beat, beaten all of the uh all of the bosses on um, medium mode i guess say free mode uh but they haven't uh, completed it on the most difficult level i don't know anybody has beaten it on the most difficult level not personally anyways uh but again the game is priced in such a way that i feel like the second this thing drops uh, to like you know, twenty five percent off or thirty percent off. It is like one of those. Every everyone's gonna own it. Uh, it is a it is a whole lot of fun. Uh, it is, and you guys know what kind of games I like. You guys know I like games like Trials. And you, I, I like these punishing uh, type titles. Uh, this this is a punishing title that will when you get in. You have to basically learn as much as you can until you die, and then you have to start fucking over. And that's the part that hurts the most. If you can handle that, if you can handle getting 15 minutes into a fight, like literally 15 minutes into a single boss fight, and then dying uh, enough times to basically have to start all over again, if you can take that, then you'll be you'll be fine. I guarantee the next round, though, you'll you'll have learned enough where you'll be able to uh, go through and, uh, and 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 clear through the first few waves or phases of that particular boss. But the phases are very well thought out. Uh, it's a huge mix of things. It's not just bullet hell. It's not just, you know, as you saw, it's, it's not it's not just one thing. Uh, there's a number of different types of uh, of attacks that these guys have, like just, just crazy amount of attacks. Uh, you have the don't stand on the green stuff thing going. 
Uh, you have a little bit of everything. Action, it's, it's so good. Uh, Gameplay-wise, it's so, so good. Uh, so, that's it. This is Fury. You can check it out right now on Steam for $24.99. My name is Mike B.A.K.A. Phony. Any for breakfast. Thank you for the game, Wolfie. See ya.